Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a uh, another night of the ESL Go Four. Here we uh, tonight, we're gonna be having Big Baller versus Certainty, and uh, might I say this is going to be a, uh, a very, uh, very competitive matchup as these two teams are uh, both very strong in their uh, respective ways. But um, not really too sure where I'm going with this right now, but. Again, looks as though we're going to be starting out with our bands right away here. The Blackbeard going to be taken off of the board almost immediately here. As, uh, that's a big operator for Villa, able to play a lot of the windows and uh, other stuff like that. But looks as though we're also going to be seeing the Montane band. So, uh, again, uh, n not a very typical band. Uh, normally you see, uh, see that band quite often, but... So I'm just going to make sure I have this all right. Looks like we're also going to be seeing the Mira the band out. So Again, Operator, which uh, is used on Vill or Coastline quite often. So uh, it's not uh, very surprising that we see uh, her taken out. As she is very strong. And, of course, Echo. Um, operator, it's uh, really able to... Um... Hold on. I'm trying to... Hold on, I'm trying to fix this stupid thing. Frick, this is, hold on, I'm, I apologize, this is a lot more confusing than I thought it would be. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Looks as though the first kill actually of the round will go to reflexes. So, uh, looks as though a bit of an aggressive peek there from uh, the from the the Jaeger as um, he will be taken out very early on in this matchup. So, again, I have the overlay working now, so everything should be a okay. And uh, as we make our way into things here, it looks as though I'm going to be seeing um, the trophy and statue room. Is it? It's going to be primarily a master take. Very typical for. Uh, for Villa, as um, normally you do want to take control of this uh, master bedroom. You're going to be spotting out the Valkyrie cameras here that will be being played by Soccer. So those taken out quite early on here as it looks as though Reflex is going to be making his way up the astronomy stairs. But he is going to have to deal with it seems though there is a roaming Valkyrie on the very bottom floor. So Soccer could possibly get an easy flank kill if the uh, attackers aren't very wary of this position. But this is a Reflex is, is going to actually be below inside of Kitchen. So... Still drone work being done as it looks so Hydrophane looking to possibly rotate down the red stairs. The they are going to get the call out that there is a player down there, but the drone work will get shut down. So it looks like I see actually going to get downs from a fairly long angle. So it's essentially a 5v3 right now, but it looks as though the wall will finally be opened up. But Reflex is going to actually eat a lot of damage from somewhere. It looks as though possibly a wall bank from Soccer as he comes up to the pantry stairs, but won't be able to get the kill as reflexes will now be aware of his position and have an easy kill onto soccer so again a 5v3 now as maestro of kaisia has now been picked up so 
Still a lot of work to be done here as Elvis will get a kill on the Ash onto Kaisia. So the push is starting to come out towards the uh, site now as we lead to the minute mark. And Sleep Awakening here positioning himself inside of Astronomy. There's not much for the defensors to do now as the plant is going to start to come down. But it looks as though uh, some cover here from the defenders is a Claymore going to come out from Lerm. So the Diffuser will finally start to get planted and they will be aware of the smoke positioning inside of Astronomy. And he will be actually the last person alive as he tries to go for the kill onto Reflexes and he finds it. But Lerm will immediately uh, cut him down. So again... Uh, again, an excellent match against an excellent round uh, for for the defenders there, or for the attackers. Sorry, I got distracted by chat. Thank you, Giddy. I appreciate that. So it looks as though we will be going uh, to Trophy Room yet again for Big Baller as uh, they're going to be looking to possibly try to improve a Defender, little bit on their first attempt here. Battery. So again, going to be bringing a fairly uh, the same li similar lineup, but looks as though we will be seeing uh, no Valkyrie this time uh, from the defense. So none oh, intel it doesn't seem as though that intel was very useful to them anyways they weren't really able to get much out of it um and no maestro either so uh it's going to be interesting to see how the plant denial is going to come out as it looks as though um no nitrosol on kaisia so it's just going to be the nitrosol from soccer and the uh smoke canisters from hydrophase so it's going to be interesting to see uh what they choose to do uh when it comes down to pressure. Again, going to be more than likely seeing, yep, again, a master take as it looks as though Astroworld going to be doing a little bit of drone work for his teams. He will actually spot the Pulse playing down below inside of Kitchen, so we'll be easily able to uh, pick him up for his team to possibly try to push out, and it looks as though Elvis will be in charge of that as he does have his drone preset inside of Kitchen, so we'll looking to... Uh, Possibly push this uh, on here as it looks as though Reflex is going to be following the drone of uh, of Blur as they try to make their way down to the kitchen. The Pulse will be spotted out by both of the drones, so it's going to be a... Uh, it's, I mean, I would assume that both the Soccer is going to try to fall back here after shooting some of these drones, and uh, he will take both of those out and will fall back, it seems, further towards the... Uh, south side of the map, but as we reach the two minute mark, it looks as though we do have um, pretty much master control just about, but they are still trying to deal with the lesion playing near the bathroom. But Sleep Awakening will choose to fall off of that and push his way back inside of Astronomy. It's, again, still a heavy roam game here from the defenses. They've still got the Pulse and the Jaeger playing off site, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, to see if they're going to be able to clear out these rovers as it looks so reflex is actually aware that the uh the rumors are still present and will position himself accordingly to try to cut them off from moving into kitchen which is where the pulse is going to be looking to uh start this uh... oh and an excellent shot through the maverick hold for astral world will take down hydrophase so that's going to be actually the smoke taken off of the board so no more smoke canisters from it. it's just going to be the pulse and again with reflexes playing below this could be an easy kill on to the jaeger if the jaeger isn't where but looks as though lethal damage is possibly aware that there is somebody playing inside of kitchen and he will actually get on his drone this is the perfect opportunity for lethal damage to go for the rush onto the the, the iq but he won't he'll get he'll push in and get off of the drone and some pre-fires come in from reflexes so again the pulse down here trying to make his way in through kitchen but the pulse is the push is starting to come out as it looks as though blur will start to open up the wall but it looks to possibly a battery trick or an impact trick from the defenses soccer gonna actually get one and a down onto another so a big double kill there if he's able to finish his kill on to the down player but no he will get lit up by lerm so 30 seconds left, and still the Maverick is downed, and they are aware that the possible rotation will be coming out onto Red Stairs, and Slink, or Soccer will actually choose to rotate down the stairs as a Sleep Awakening going to get the finish off on to Lerm. So, uh, again, 
2v3 now, as it looks as though the Legion has been downed from the main hallway, but we still have the Pulse below. This is going to be a big play for the Pulse, but he's planting on something where you can't destroy, and the Nitro Cell will miss, as it didn't even seem like it went off, but again, post-plant position here, a 2v3 with the Legion down on the ground. Make that a 1v3 as the Nitro Cell tries to come out from soccer, but he's on just about 1 HP, and uh, he'll die about just about anything. And, Again, with the teammate of Sleep Awakening on the ground. He's going to have to go for a couple pre-fires onto the IQ. But Reflexes going to pick up that kill onto Soccer as he downed Sleep Awakening earlier. An excellent, another excellent attack there from Certainty. So, yet again, it looks as though we're going to be trying to break out the trophy and statue room as we see some six picks from the uh, Vigil to a Maestro and from the Glaz to a Maverick. So the Maverick just going to possibly try to help out some of the... Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Some of the push here. I mean, they did bring the Maverick last time, so... Um, it was actually... It helped them get a, a very easy pick onto Hydra who like was playing the smoke, so... Um, looking to see them do that again, I mean, and I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be the exact same pushes. Um, more than likely, we will be seeing. A, more than likely, we will be seeing the master push yet again. It's, what ain't broke, don't fix it, and they've won two rounds fairly easily off of the back of that master push, and uh, fairly even score out coming out from the certainty as well. So again. Not, uh, not too much to be said here. This is actually, we're going to be seeing lethal damage on the Ella shotgun. So, going to try to hold off the master push for as long as he can and until he's going to have to fall off. But that Ella shotgun is going to be putting in uh, quite a lot of work, I would assume, as, um, especially for Xbox. It's a very, it's a very strong gun. I mean, it just, it blows, uh, it blows attackers out of the water. So, again, a lot of drone work coming out here from the uh, attackers as Reflexes will actually spot the Jaeger sitting on top of the hatch, but it looks as though Soccer going to be wisely choosing to rotate off of that position and uh, go back towards the site with uh, the rest of his team as he will be leaving lethal damage alone inside of the closet. So, if left undroned, could possibly make a huge play here. As again, Reflexes is going to be making his way into Kitchen and going to be using this position just to hold off the Nitro Cell from below, but... I mean, there isn't any more Nitro Cells on the board, and it looks as though the Ella might have actually gone undroned here, as it looks as though <clears throat> Lorm will finally be throwing his drone inside a Master, but will he actually drone the Small Closet? Looks as though Lerm going to make his way into sight, and no, the Small Closet will get left undrone, but no, it looks as though Blur will finally drone out the Ella, so he does still have two ADSs in here, so this could still be a big play for the Ella's. Thatcher grenades are going to have to come out and possibly deny those ADSs as they look to possibly try to get this Ella out of here. But again, a lot of utility going to be getting dumped inside of the small closet as the Ella is still holding strong and waiting for the uh, attackers to come out. Still has one more ADS on the board and the Thatcher grenade will come out and take down those two ADSs. The drone work still coming out. But no, it actually looks as though one of the ADSs is still there. As the Maverick going to find an easy angle, this is going to be difficult for the Ella as she's trapped in a corner now and with uh, nobody here to help her. It looks like actually the Jaeger going to be uh, able to help her as well, but Blur just barely nicking the arm of the Ella is again looking to try to find the angle through the holes here. It comes out with the shotgun and will get the down onto Thatcher, but has wasted just about 2 minutes and 10 seconds, so a lot of time wasted there from lethal damage, and that's going to be a huge win. A soccer peeks out wide into Master and takes down two on Elvis and Lerm. That's the Ash and the Thatcher taken off the board, but with 30 seconds left, they're going to finally try to open up the main wall with the Exothermic Charge, but 
A lot of Legion traps being hit here. This would be the perfect time for the Jaeger to push out into Master and find that kill onto Astro World. So a 4v2 here in favor of the defenses. Reflexes will find one on the IQ and Blur finds another one. So all of a sudden it's a 2v2 with 15 seconds left in the round. Going to be pushing from two different angles here. Blur, not exactly sure where the Jaeger is, but will be actually able to spot him on the connector. And a nice headshot on to him. It's just the Maestro left now. And a one versus two. He'll find one on the reflexes, but the plant starts to go down. Blur's gonna have to stick this, and this is gonna be an easy kill for Kaisia as he finds Blur on the plant. And an excellent round there from the defenses, and especially lethal damage. Able to waste two whole minutes of the attacker's time and utility inside of the master closet that put that i mean you really got to try to get that ella out of there a lot sooner than that um it's just it, it was it's interesting that they allowed that ella to play there for so long because with the shotgun they should have thatched it to begin with and just started dumping their utility then and send bodies through um they couldn't deal with the jaeger playing on the uh, master bedroom either that never droned him so he was just able to peek wide and take down two easy kills so uh and then he got a third too as well onto the maverick so uh and it's interesting that uh that was how that push decided to come but defenders protect i'm sure they will learn from that and i mean they don't have to go they don't have to attack that uh until a couple more rounds anyway so it's not gonna really matter for right now but So again, it looks as though we're going to be seeing uh, the dining room, the dining room and the kitchen. So it looks as though Hydra Fate rocking the impacts will be trying to go for some impact tricks. As uh, it's fairly st it's standard in the meta nowadays, I would say is normally you normally you always see somebody impact tricking. So uh, it's actually quite it's a lot more common to see common to see Hydra Fae or the smoke actually run impacts and aside from barbed wire which I mean, was the meta back in the day and uh, okay again looks as though we're gonna be seeing the northeast take possibly upstairs and master is that looks to be where Elvis wants to go and I will be Again, a master take, which, uh, I mean, it's the most powerful, uh, positioning for any attackers is, uh, master, I mean, you, you have control, especially at the site's trophy, you have control of trophy room, um, you also have control of the, uh, the floors, the, all the floors breakable on top here, and you're able to really find those anchor positionings, uh, from the defense, and especially when they're in the kitchen, and, um, Again, it looks as though Buck will be making his way upstairs and start to make a few holes in the floor as the IQ will be looking for uh, some of this utility. But uh, just the Valkyrie cameras and the uh, actually a lot of utility that she will be able to detect as um, Legion traps, Valkyrie cameras, and Ella's Grismots, and that will be actually the one Nitro Cell from the Valkyrie. So no more Nitro Cells from her as uh, will be the only plant denial aside from the smoke canisters. But so Hydrufe looking to possibly get ready for the impact trick as uh, the attackers are still positioned above and are waiting for this impact trick to come out as we reach about the halfway mark in the round. Still a lot of holes to be played with from above and lethal damage playing inside of Memorial Room just waiting for the push to come out through the hallway. But looks as though actually Lerm will get the kill onto Hydrufe as he goes for the impact trick and that's going to be an excellent bait there from uh, the attack as Blur will be able to open up this wall with the second exothermic charge and with a minute 15 left, and there's not a lot of ground here for it. the uh, defense. Is, looks so soccer gonna just barely get missed with the headshot by the uh, the IQ inside of the dining hall. But again, with a minute left, it looks so like the push is gonna start to come out as soccer going to actually get a kill on the flank upstairs onto Mav onto Maverick of Elvis. So. Uh, putting man advantage back even, but Blur gonna get a quick refrag onto Sleep Awakening as he is starting to make his way towards the site. And, uh, this is so Lerm actually gonna get catch that flank off from Soccer. So 40 seconds left, and it's an LS shotgun and a uh, and a Valkyrie. And Valkyrie will actually peek wide and take down Astroworld. So that's 
the Thatcher taken out. Does actually spot the you know, the Thermite as well. As Lethal Gamer is going to get the down onto Reflexes. So it's now all up to the Buck inside of Laundry Room to fight against two. The Ella Shotgun and the Valkyrie. But uh, will he even be able to find one? As it looks out, Kaisia will put a few bullets into the Buck. But Buck with the two angles he has to fight with doesn't have a lot to play with. He's going to try to find this kill onto the Valkyrie. But no, Kaisia hits the shot perfectly. And... Puts us on to uh, on to two two now tied between Big Baller and Certainty. So, looks as though we will be uh, seeing, again, going to Aviator. So, uh, after winning those two defenses, they're going to have to go somewhere else. And Aviator is definitely not uh, the worst site on this map. I mean, without a Mira, it's going to make it a lot harder. Attack but uh, I'm assuming we're going to see the uh, the same impact tricks, possibly from Sleep Awakening. Is. Um, we still do have the Ella Shotgun of Lethal Gamma, so... That will um, obviously slow down the pushes. Uh, yeah. He did in that last round. I, I can't believe that he wasted a full two minutes uh, of the attacker's time just inside of the small closet. I and mean, that was quite possibly the biggest play of this match. So that Amira, it's going to be interesting how they choose to set this up as it looks as though uh, going to be bringing that Maestro, which is, uh, it's needed especially when you don't have Amira. It's just going to provide a lot more intel than what you would have already had. And Attackers recovered the diffuser. Attackers must locate and defuse the bomb. The attacker's bomb diffuser has been dropped. Attackers recovered the and yet again, it looks as though the impact trick will be coming out as uh, lethal damage will be making these holes uh, in the roof. But again, uh, it looks as though actually going to be switching up the push a little bit. It looks as though without a mirror, they're going to be choosing to uh, push from uh, the study room. It looks as though Jaeger actually going to be getting into an early gunfight with Maverick, it seems, on the red stairs. And he'll be put onto just below 50 HP, so... A lot of HP taken off of the Jaeger is they're going to be trying to clear out these roamers. Just about everybody from the d attack is uh, going to be on their drones right now. And it doesn't seem as though there are any more dr roamers. Uh, Hydrofay, the only person outside of the objective right now, but he's just playing on 90, so not too far away. As the reset did come out onto the Jaeger, so he'll be back up to 50 HP. But Again, Reflex is trying to find where uh, all this utility through the forest is. Trying to find that lesion trap and will actually take it out, but again, it looks as though these holes from the uh, from the attackers will be to the defense's demise if um, they aren't able to uh, counter it. But uh, again, half of the round left remaining. It looks as though Lerm is aware that there is an Ella playing inside this corner, but the excellent shotgun work from Lethal Damage will take down Lerm. So that's the buck taken off the board. And again, it looks as though the impact tricks are going to start to come out here from Sleep Awakening as he will get that exothermic charge from Blur. So Blur only has one left. So he's going to possibly try to use it on this main wall here as it looks as though still have the, uh, the Ella playing close on to this reinforcement reach about the minute mark and still everybody on site and uh Grismont will actually get detected on 90 as Hydrophay looks to possibly go for a late flank up the main stairs and does still have a nitro cell in hand so could be a big play from him as lesion traps will start to get set off but the attacker is not really too sure how to attack this as they will be actually opening up the wall into aviator so not the bar wall, but the aviator wall. It's an interesting choice to say the least, but 40 seconds left. They're going to have to start this push very soon as Astroworld is just trying to find the angles onto anybody inside of 
the vault, but lethal damage again on the shotgun is ready to possibly go for this pounce. Uh, dude, they do actually spot the head of the, the, the thermite, but Blur hits an excellent shot there onto soccer. So, but 30 seconds left, this hack is gonna have to start coming now. But Kaisia gets one onto Elvis on that Alda. Has so much ammo to do so. Will possibly get the down onto the thermite, but no. Thermite will be just crawling asleep wake, and he will finally finish him off. So, just two attackers left. Astro will, will find one onto sleep awakening, but they're gonna have to find two more. And reflexes actually will get the down onto the maestro, but the diffuser not in their hands. The plant's gonna have to come down from reflexes and he misses the plant no it wouldn't let him plant and so unfortunate for certainty is they actually almost had that clutch So, uh, yet again, another defensive win for Big Baller is. They are going to be putting this on to 3-2 on Villa. So, uh, a very good matchup so far. Is, uh, the first two rounds went in favor of Certainty when they defended Trophy. But uh, after railing out Trophy three times, they finally were able to win it out. Uh, on their defense, so they will be going back here. So this could possibly be good news for certainty. Is that I mean, again, this was the one site that they were able to uh, successfully def uh, attack uh, twice. Uh, but I'm imagining that uh, Big Baller are wanting to put this onto three-two, so or four-two uh, going into the half. Is, uh, I mean, this map is fairly, I'd say, attacker sided. So it's interesting that there's been three defensive wins, so I'm going to assume that we're going to go 3-3, but I mean, this matchup, this map is so balanced, I mean, at, at least at the moment, that, I mean, defenders and attackers, they don't normally win too much more than each other, so uh, it's it's pretty balanced uh, in that regard, but um, looks as though we're actually going to possibly see a different push, but uh, the spawns are a little different from the attackers, but it looks as though they will just be going over uh, to Master anyway to make this attack start to happen two minutes 30 seconds on the round the push will start to come out on the master so i'm interested to see if lethal damage will play inside of that closet again but no he will not he's still gonna be rocking the ls shotgun but will choose to play it i guess a little bit more passively but um again this is a, an aggressive run out from hydrofay will not find anything uh, for him uh, right now as looks as though the attackers are gonna start to make their way down into the first floor so Their way into master as reflex is reflexes is going to try to look for some of these holes but that hole is into master you uh you don't really need to be looking through that unless you want to take it out your own my, your own uh, kairos out but hydrofe gonna get a kill onto elvis who seemed to be rotating uh just in the open there and an excellent peek out from hydrofe will land him the kill so uh, again, a minute 40 left in the round, and Legion Traps are starting to get hit off. So, Reflex is going to try to make his way up these main stairs. It's looks as though the wall will possibly get opened by the Exothermic. Uh, but no, it will not. It looks as though the impact trick from Sleep Awakening was successful. So, again, more X Kairos going to come out from the attack as the, the Exothermic charge will as well. So, uh, that wall will eventually be getting opened. Up with, uh, but Blur actually finds an excellent shot onto Kaiseo with the ACOG. So, uh, an excellent, an excellent takeout from him to take down the Ma Maestro, a big operator for this defense. So Hydrofay is starting to rotate his way back towards site. Is uh, Reflex is going to be doing his typical thing it seems and playing on the uh, the first floor and waiting for the push to come out. The late, ro the late, the late rotate from the defenders. Uh, but we are gonna about to reach the 50 second mark and again not a lot of uh pushing power as of right now from the attackers they are looking through some of these main holes and are trying to find a couple picks onto the defenders but none of the defenders are actually giving away their position so they're playing it very smartly very smart here and um the first gas canister will actually come out from hydrofed actually the second one so does still have one more and with 20 seconds left it might be perfect to deny this push 
push. Will start to come out from Master as it looks as though Jaeger of Soccer will get that kill on the Reflex is trying to flank from the main uh, red stairs. And the push does start to come on into sight, but it looks like the Maverick has been downed by the smoke. And Lethal Damage peeks out and gets one, and Soccer with another, and Hydrafe with the last. An excellent defense there of uh, the trophy and statuary room from Big Baller as uh, they're able to. Uh, actually put us 4-2 uh, in, uh, in in their favor going into the second half. As um, Again, we're going to be seeing Big Baller now go to attack, and uh, we will see Certainty go on to defense. So hopefully Certainty is able to uh, put a little bit more together here. As uh, Again, what didn't look like the push was that coordinate or uh, the, the, their attacks were... Um, Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. So it looks as though the first site for certainty uh, will also be the trophy the statuary room. Uh, I mean, this is the most, like, this is the best bomb site, I would say, especially without a mirror. Um, if you have a mirror, it's arguable that the um, bar is fairly viable. But uh, not the most, especially when you don't have a Five seconds. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. Attackers must locate and defuse the bomb. So it looks as though we're going to be seeing again another master take from uh, these two teams. Uh, I mean, it makes sense, as I've said, that. You push for master because it gives you a lot of control and it it doesn't let you get flanked very easily. And looks as if an aggressive peak actually from Asterworld is he could possibly find this kill onto Soccer as he does choose to uh, repel up on the uh, wrong side for um, his liking. But Asterworld could possibly go for a jump out here as he actually will just fall out without shooting the drone. So going to be uh, allowing that drone to make it. It's like he needs to just get back to sight so he can impact trick, but. Again, it looks as a blur will be opening up this window inside of a study. So that's going to help with uh, getting possibly a pick onto the master balcony if those attackers aren't weary of it. This is how soccer will spot out that Valkyrie camera just uh, next to the drone hole, but Hydrafe will be able to take it out with ease. Uh, and so they will actually be able to get the Maestro camera as well. So. Yeah, it looks as though the uh, the smoke has pushed up aggressively onto the uh, main master door and is trying to see if he can't find anything uh, into master. But uh, again, the drone work coming out here. Uh... Again. Left in the round, and it looks as though the attackers are starting to stall out uh, a little bit more here. As uh, more drone work gotta come out here from Big Baller, as uh, they're just trying to find their uh, their way through this defense. As it looks as though we're going to be seeing a last second push here from the attackers as uh, we reach the 40 second mark, and it looks as though the down onto Kaisia. Possibly a reset as uh, he did get a kill, but two quick kills from Sleep Awakening and Hydrofe will put man advantage back in favor of the attackers. But Elvis still here with the smoke canisters, waiting for the attack to come through this main uh, this main wall. As it looks as though uh, 20 seconds left, they're gonna have to go for a quick push here. But Lerm does get one kill, and Hydrofe will be going for the plant just besides the bomb, and no one is in position to get this kill. As Garcia gets an excellent kill and lethal damage with another one, as it's now just the maestro against. But Sleep Awakening will shut him down. So, uh, an excellent attack there from Big Baller as uh, they were really able to. Uh
able to successfully get that uh, that attack off, but looks as though we will be seeing a rehost here, so uh, we'll be uh, going over to this real quick. Alright, well, welcome back, uh, everybody. We will be getting right back into things here, as uh, will be uh, still certainty on defense, and looks as though they're going to be switching things up just a little bit here and go down to dining room. So, not the, uh, not the same as we saw from Big Baller. They decided to keep trying to uh, go back to trophy, but an early switch here from certainty will possibly help them, I'd say, and they're going to be six-picking off of a pulse to a Valkyrie, so 
It looks like we'll actually see a six pick from the Zofia to an IQ. So that's also going to help counter the Valkyrie, even though they didn't know that they were going to be bringing it. And even coming off of the Zofia, uh, even though there is a Maestro on the board. So again, it's, it's interesting that they're going to be six picking that, not knowing that the Valkyrie was coming, but maybe just to counter the Pulse. Um, Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Not too sure what their thought process on that six pick was, but I mean, it's going to work out uh, regardless, so it was the right decision. So again, Bomb Castle Strats. Coming out from Astro World, as it's typical to see you reinforce or you bear castle off the pantry, as there's not really a need to play in there, as it looks as though uh, it's just an easy avenue for the attackers to come through, and it's uh, an easy late flank. Attackers recovered the bomb defuser. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Again, it looks as though we're going to be seeing the master take from the attacking team, as they're going to be positioning everybody over towards the fountain spawn, but it's interesting to see there's actually no roamers on this top floor as of right now. Everyone is still on site and actually uh, going to be still reinforcing. So it looks as though Astro World will be switching off one of these castle barricades in, uh, inside a memorial room. So a late switch there, possibly a different call out as um, I'm not too sure what the reasoning behind that was. But looks though Elvis going to be using a pre-placed nitro stuff here. Uh, and possibly inside, I would imagine, uh, the bathroom here. So it's going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting position. But no, it actually won't net any kills. It was a little bit uh, too early, it seems. Uh, Kaisia got to able to uh, move right past that. So again, it looks as though the push going to be starting to come out uh, through the laundry room. But we're with the. Uh, with the uh, ACOG on the Alda is going to be able to contest this angle very well as it looks as though Hydrophate has made his way above so top floor control firmly in favor of the attacker so again uh, minute 30 left on the round and still a lot of drone work to be done as it looks so reflex is still positioned inside of the mudroom is going to be waiting attacker for this push to come out at the last attacker second possibly go for a flank up onto the top floor um, but again, looks as though the Valkyrie going to be getting into a gunfight with the uh, IQ outside, or the Havana outside of the uh, main window here. And Blur finds a kill onto Lethal Gamer. So two trades back and forth, the Thermite for the castle. And yet again, another kill for the attack as Kaisia will take down Blur from uh, above. So uh, top floor control really helping the team as Sleepaway again gets another kill for himself onto Reflexes. So it's a 4v2 now in favor of the attackers as this could be match point we see here if unless they are able to perform a miracle. Uh, we'll be getting droned out, so unfortunate for the uh, for the, the defense as Elvis is going to get lit up to just about 1 HP. So a very tough spot here for the defense as uh, Soccer going to start to make his way in through Pantry and will find that kill onto Lerm as it looks as though Sleep Awakening going to find the last one onto Elvis. So an excellent attack, well coordinated from Big Baller. So, we will be on to match point now for Big Baller 6-2. to two. So, it's going to have to be a big comeback from Certainty 
if they're gonna want to be able to bring this back and momentum is strongly in favor of big baller so uh, I mean it's not likely that we see the comeback but if certainty is able to get this win um, this round win uh, I, I don't see any reason why uh, they will lose this match so uh, I think if they can get the momentum back in their favor just a little bit um, that's all they need in order to uh, in order to uh, win out I mean in, in order to form the momentum they need to win this round that's what I'm trying to say attackers recovered the bomb diffuser attackers objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it Again, it looks as though we're going to be seeing the master take uh, from Big Baller. As it looks as though uh, some repel is coming out here onto the master balconies. Hydrophag going to be trying to find this kill onto the lesion on the top floor. Reflexes here uh, charged with holding the top floor for his team. But uh, with the candelas and, and all the utility like the dump in them, it's, uh, it's likely that he possibly is going to be able to find a kill. But... It's going to have to be very difficult. But Worm actually rotating all the way down to the basement. So two deep roams here from the uh, a defensive uh, certainty is uh, just trying to see if they can't find a pick here in the early stage. And looks so like we're actually seeing another uh, defender offsite inside of Art Studio. So uh, a lot of roam game here from the defenses. It's just the Rook and the Bandit on site is... Um, it, they're gonna have to hold against uh, all of the attackers here from uh, Big Baller as they're gonna start to make their way in through the laundry room uh, the uh, Habana just making her way in gonna eat a little bit of pre-fire but won't actually take any damage from it but looks as though Sequel Awakening gonna be opening up a little bit more of this wall on top of uh, the pantry stairs, but looks as though actually an impact possibly or something is gonna stop that uh, those extra chiros from going off completely. As Lerm gonna rotate up the uh, pantry stairs and take down Sleep Awakening, so that will actually be the Habana taken out for this round. So an excellent start here for Certainty. Minute 15 left in the round, and Hydrophay is going to start to be pushing out the Legion from above, but it looks as though Reflexes has repositioned to the uh, trophy or the statuary door, and we'll actually spot out two of the players. Gonna put a little bit of damage into Kaisia and take down the IQ, so now it's just Hydrophay playing above, trying to chase after the Legion, and will actually full blind the Legion, but no, he went the wrong way. So Soccer will get the first kill for his team on to Lerm, so that's the Jaeger out of the game. But still, gonna have to find four remaining attackers. And still, with the presence of the Legion, Elvis will come on the flank and take down Hydrophay and Blur with his own kill onto Soccer, leaving just the Thermite, who will get one onto Astroworld. But he's gonna have to find three more. And with 30 seconds left, he has the Diffuser in hand. Elvis and Blur holding passive angles, just waiting for the Thermite to peek into them. They don't have to do anything here, they just need to wait for Lethal Damage to peek first. He will actually hit a nice shot through the wall onto the Legion, but it won't be the lethal blow that he needs. An excellent flick there onto the Bandit of Blur is going to take him down, but with the positioning from the Legion, from the Vigil here, he will put a few bullets into the side of the Thermite. And Thermite actually not aware that the, the, the Legion is right in front of him, so Reflexes will get an easy shot onto the Thermite. So uh, an excellent defense there from Certainty, and that might just be uh, the momentum that they need to win out this map and, and get the comeback going at least started Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. So, again, looks as though we're going to be seeing the uh, trophy and statuary room yet again. So, uh, after finally finding a defensive win, they're going to go back upstairs where they've 
lost uh, already once in this map matchup. Uh, but with momentum a little bit more on their side, and with Learn being promoted to Doc, um, I'm imagining that we're gonna be seeing a little bit more kills in this, uh, this round. Five seconds left before insertion. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. Attackers objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Attackers drop the diffuser. So again, it looks as though we're going to be seeing the Masker take uh, from Big Baller as they're going to be positioning themselves just outside of Master and with a glass, a glass this time uh, from Kaisia. It's going to be a little bit more difficult for the defense to peek into the smoke angle. So uh, an excellent pickup, I'd say, from the attackers. They're going to first have to get in through Masker. Uh, again, with uh, Sleep Awakening going to be burning a some of the ADSs, it's excellent drone work there. Will prevent the Thatcher from actually wasting his uh, EMP grenades. He's going to hop right inside of Master and going to be trying to take uh, this attack on to the main uh, wall here. Looks still like lethal damage, going to be opening up that main wall into Trophy. So, uh, early control here with two minutes left in the round. And, Still plenty of drone work to be done as Hydrofay will get the first kill for his team on the main uh, astronomy window. That will be the bandit taken out of the game, out of this round. And it's an early man advantage for Big Baller as they look to try to put this match away. They do spot the Rook playing, or the Doc playing, just behind the deer inside of Trophy, but aren't able to find the Eagles on him just yet. But the excellent peek up from Lerm hits his shot on the Doc. That's Sleep Awakening and the Habana taken out. He might pick up again and get a kill onto the Glass, but no, Glass will be lit up to just about 25 HP. But excellent work here. Lerm really hitting his shots after being promoted to that dock roll. Again, one minute left, and it's looking a lot better here for the defensive. They got the health advantage and uh, still... So they start to make their push onto the site, but the smoke canisters will come out from the glass, but the spray through from the dock will try to find a few kills, but Hydrofate making big work here with the Candelas going off as we still see Elvis here positioned on the astronomy stairs, going for the fight against the Thatcher, but the free fires just won't hit. The plant is going down from lethal damage, and with Worm getting another kill onto Hydrofate, it's a 3v3, but now it's a 3v2 as Elvis gets the impact kill onto Soccer. Thermite has repositioned himself still inside of the uh, main wall here. Elvis gets a kill on the lethal damage and the down onto Kaisia will allow this round to go in favor of certainty. So the excellent retake there from them in order to uh, put this round uh, onto 6-4. to four. So the comeback here starting to form from certainty as they've started to get a little bit more momentum. So, looks as though Aviator and Games Room will be uh, the third uh, chosen site for certainty. Need to locate and they, uh, as many bombs as they can. Again, no dock here from the uh, defense. Is Warren moving back on the bandit? And I'm going to imagine that they're going to be more impact tricks from the uh, Legion, uh, quite possibly. As it looks as though Elva's going to save his to possibly use for a roam game. So it 
Which is a reflex is going to be using these lesion traps to uh, gather infel on the master side of things. Possibly go for a roam over here. As looks to possibly put a few reinforcements up on the walls. But again, we'll choose to position them in a little bit more of a different spot. So it's going to be interesting. Hopefully we are able to see a little bit more of a coordinated attack from Big Baller. Especially if they want to win this map out. But... Uh, I mean, obviously, they want to win the map out, so they're going to have to push a little bit more coordinated, uh, especially at the end of the round. But Hydrofe will just barely miss the, uh, the Maestro rotating from 90, so a missed opportunity there from the Ying. And we'll still have to deal with Elvis on the Vigil playing just uh, inside of the 90 hallway, so... Looks as though Astro will just shooting out a little bit of the windows. It looks as though the rappel in could possibly come from Hydrofe, but he will actually choose to fall off and go for a little bit more of a drone. As we do still have two minutes left in the round, the Maestro Gamer trying to find the drone, but is going to be unable. As it looks as though Lethal Gamer is going to be making his way inside of a, 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 a ash, or study here at any moment and possibly go for the Thermite Charge either inside of study or on this main wall here. But they are going to have to deal with this Maestro Camera at the end of 90 Hall, gathering all of this information on the attacking, uh, the attacker's push. As we reach about halfway through the round, Lissa Sleep Awakening will catch out the Lesion Trap from Reflexes. So, excellent play there from him as it looks like Reflexes has made his way over into Astronomy, along with Elvis inside of Bathroom. So, still a deep roam from the Defense of Certainty as they look to possibly push this on to 6-5. to five. Minute 20 left. They just have to wait here. The attack is stalling out quite uh, <laughs> quite a lot here. So they've yet to open up any of the walls, but Lethal Damage will finally go for this main wall, but looks as though the impact trick won't come out, but the bandit trick will. So an excellent bandit trick there from Lerm, able to deny that exothermic charge from going off. Jackal Track's going to be going on to some of the roamers playing inside of the master, so they will be aware of this position, but will they know that there is two? The push is going to start to come out from study, but Lerm with an excellent Nitro Sub will deny the Exothermic Charge once again. Going for the kill onto the Ying is Astrowell, but will go prone as he stands up. Hydrofe will find two onto a Blur and Astro World. So a 4v2 now in favor of the attack as Hydrofe looking to possibly aggress onto the player on 90. The Legion will choose to rotate, but rotates right into the crossfire of Soccer and Reflexes. So a 4v2 now as it looks as though it's just the Vigil and the Bandit left. Vigil trying to go for the rotate on to the player below that the plant is coming out. Lerm is going to have to get aggressive here, but he doesn't spot the Ash playing on the floor, but with wonderful shots there on the soccer will take down the Ash, but it's a post-plant situation for these two teams as it looks as though it's a 2v2 and the pre is coming out from Hydrofe. Won't actually land. Elvis will hit that shot onto Hydrofe, so it's a 2v2 now. And Lerm trying to look for a possible position here for him to put his team in the best spot. Elvis going to rotate possibly through 90, but no, he'll choose to watch the study door as that's where the attack is going to have to come from. But the pre fires come out. They will find the kill onto soccer, but no! Elvis with two quick kills takes down Kaisia and Sleep Awakening. How does he do it? Elvis, I believe, with the 4K in that round, single-handedly keeps his team in it. That will be 6-5 to five here between Big Baller and Certainty. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. So, after that wonderful clutch from Elvis, it, uh, they look to uh, possibly go back to kitchen and dining room to 
put this uh, over to overtime, so... Okay, again, going to be seeing Elvis on the... Swapping. Oh my god, bro. I'm going to be seeing Elvis on the deep flank, but uh, looks as though we're going to be also seeing Hydra play again repel on the astronomy window, which some uh, where we've seen him uh, play for most of this map is... <laughs> he might have gotten his uh, finger stuck a little bit on the trigger. Um, I'm going to be shooting a little bit more than he needs to, but uh, again, it looks as though it's going to be another master take as they will be spotting out the vigil uh, with the, uh, the scanner on inside of statue room. So they're going to try to start pushing here on to the vigil along with the legion. So reflexes and Elvis going to have to do a lot of work to deny this push as they will both be droned out and they will be, uh, their position will be known as it looks so good. Hydra Fig going to start to go in through astronomy as he starts to chuck in those candelas and will choose to pull out the legion trap with the excellent push there from reflexes. We'll catch Hydra Fay off guard and Elvis with the perfect flank watch on to Sleep Awakening. So that's the Jackal and the Ying taken out early on here. So two big operators to get off the board. No more tracking for the Roamers and no more Candelas to deal with. But it looks as though the Maverick is going to still try to find these angles on to these last Roamers. But they're going to be playing it very safe inside of the... Uh, trophy room and some more shots actually going to be dealt into the Maverick as he's now just about on 70 HP. But the Nitro Saw coming from below will not actually find his target, but Reflex is going to find his as he takes down Kaisia inside a bathroom. And looks as though the Thermite going to start to be pushing through uh, the laundry room all by himself as Soccer is above, still trying um, to find the angles on to these defenders. But the exothermic charge will finally go off from the thermite. Is it looks so soccer is just baiting for kills at this point, waiting for the attackers to possibly push down onto him. But uh, with this, uh, <laughs> Elvis will peek out at the right time and take down soccer. So it's going to be just the thermite in a one versus five uh, to get to win the match and keep this from going to overtime on Villa. And it looks as though he won't be able to even find one kill as Hydro uh, Astro World will uh, will sneak right in through the thermite hole and take down that thermite with the perfect pre-fire. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. So it looks as though, based off the random coin flip, we will be seeing the certainty go to defense first. So uh, something that they weren't as successful on as their attack. So it's going to be interesting. Or yeah, weren't as, uh, as successful with. But uh, again. Uh, hopefully to find a little bit more luck here so they have all of the momentum on their side at the current moment so five seconds left before insertion this is actually an aggressive spawn peek here from worm as he will find that quick headshot on to soccer so the thatcher taken down here 
early on as the wall will be a little bit more difficult to open up. So it looks as though this attack gonna be a little bit more stalled out as I mean there isn't anything to hold off the wall from being open up, but a lot of those lesion traps along with uh along Looks as though actually lethal damage going to be making his way into master to open up the wall. Uh, on to statue room so to, a minute into the round it's quite early on to get this wall opened up and still the deep roam game coming out from elvis and reflexes as they're going to be roaming quite far off site but with still the maestro cameras available to blur he will be able to gather a lot of intel on this plant inside of statue as we reach about the half minute mark and looks so hydrophobe possibly going to start going for this to push on to the astronomy player as it seems as though that will be the uh the jaeger who is playing inside of the shrine has already been lit up seems from the thermite hall but again holding a very uh, passive angle as the bullets will fly past him from sleep awakening but the excellent hold there from lethal damage will actually find that kill on to astro will so an excellent shot there from the thermite able to take him down but it looks as though again the aggressive angle is being held here by blur and uh, Lerm. They're just waiting to pop up at any moment now to take off the head of any of the attackers, but looks as though the drone's gonna be coming out from Hydra Fate as he's gonna possibly go for some Candelas at any moment here, but the flank from Elvis up the main stairs could be the demise of these attackers as they actually do are aware of his positioning, but will they be able to land the shots? No! Elvis hits the headshot perfectly onto Hydra Fate, so no more Candelas for them. It's now a 4v5. Defense is favored, but it looks as though Reflex is actually may... I know, it looks as though the Thermite is on the other side of the wall, so still waiting for the push to come through through this Thermite hole. But it looks as though the attack doesn't know exactly where to come from now. As they still have two smokes on the Jackal, so could possibly use these to start a push. But it looks as though the, a quick push in from Sleep Awakening and Lethal Damage will get shut down by Reflexes. And Worm gets the final kill onto Kaisia inside of Master. So an excellent hold from the defense there, able to uh, stop that attack from the very start. So it looks as though, again, we're going to be seeing the side switch here and uh, we'll be looking at a defense of Aviator and Games Room. So interesting choice, uh, to say the least, from... Attackers from Big Baller. Is, I mean, it's not their, doesn't seem as though that was their primary site, uh, but... Uh, it's still going to be seeing it nonetheless. So again, gonna be seeing the LS shotgun from Lethal Damage. He's just gonna be making the rotation holes here for his team. But again, it looks like a master take. It will be from the attackers. Is that's where they're gonna be spawning out quite uh, mostly here. Is uh, we're gonna wait to see exactly where they decide to repel up. But again. Uh, Master take it is. His reflexes are already going to be making his way inside of the walk-in closet. As uh, there must be a drone in front of him here, but Hydrophe could possibly get fallen off. As he actually will hear the Zofia inside of Master. So an excellent play there from him to not go for that barricade. 
on the door, but could possibly get an easy kill from Reflexes as he does have the Acog, but no, it's actually the Ash gonna make his way inside a Master, lighting up Hydrophate quite a lot here. We're also gonna eat a lot of damage himself, so it's going to be a, a, a full-on push from the Master side. As I'm imagining that Hydrophate will get a reset here as looks as though Soccer actually going to be on the deep flank in the bottom floor, just coming up the pantry stairs. We'll start to make this flank onto the attackers, but Reflexes with an excellent flank hole here down onto the bottom of Red Stairs. Could possibly catch any of these roamers off guard if they're not aware of its position, but Lethal Gamage looks like he's positioned himself inside of Study, waiting for the attack to come through this main door onto Aviator, but... Ash already making his way onto the 90 hallways. Going to be going for a couple of the barbed wire, but will actually get shot through the drone hole, it seems. So an excellent shot there to take a lot of damage off of the Ash. So looks so sleep awakening. We'll get a reset as Hydrophate will get the Nitro Cell onto Astral. So that's the Maverick taken out. So an excellent play there from the Mute to get that call out from his teammates in order to make that play. And again, still have the holes here for the impact trick to come out. As uh, it looks as though actually Hydrophate will still have. Have the holes from below in order to take down anybody that's trying to thermite this wall. Lerm will get hit the kill for his team as uh, Soccer will get an immediate refrag onto Reflexes, but the impact trick won't actually come out as it actually was on a different wall, it seems. So Blur going to get his kill onto Cassia. So back to a 3v3 and health advantage in favor of the attack slightly as blur is on just about one hp going to try to push through this main wall into a bar 30 seconds left in the round and still a lot of angles being held here by the defense no ella shotgun on the board but those ella grishmont still doing a lot of work as looks as though lerm position just inside of astronomy could fall to the flank from hydrophay hydrophay has the angle and will get the down onto lerm so it's a 3v2 as blur will even it out onto sleep awakening elvis making his way inside of sight going to go for the plant here soon but does know that the mute is playing close in the hallway hydrophay playing it very patiently as he's gonna rotate into an aviator but no it's the wrong play as the plant starts to go down soccer will get the kill onto blur and the finish off onto elvis will hydrophay that will tie this up seven to seven we're gonna need all of the rounds here ladies and gentlemen to see who is the better team today So, again, it will be defense for certainty as they look to go to dining room and kitchen for their final, uh, for the final round of this map. We are three minutes and 45 seconds away from uh, deciding the winner of this map. And this is just the round of 32, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, hey, this has been quite an entertaining matchup to say the least, and I thank you all for tuning in, and, uh, I honestly don't know who is going to come out on top here, as both of these teams look very strong, uh, right now, but, I mean, again, it is defense, and defense has, um, has had the advantage here in, um, most of these rounds, so... It's likely that we see the defense win again, but I mean, who, at this point, who knows? We can't really go off of uh, any of the stats anymore, but yeah. Three minutes now from a possible winner, unless there's a draw. I mean, if there's a draw, though, that'd be, that'd be pretty insane. And, I mean, we're just going to have to quit, and both these teams make it uh, onto the round of 16. But again... Push it looks as though it's gonna actually come from the uh, study room. As it looks though, an early kill actually for Hydrophay onto Reflexes. So that's a big kill very early on here. A lot of those lesion traps not going to be placed down from Reflexes, and uh, he was a big uh, clinch, uh, a big. Uh, 
Clinch pin? No. Uh, a big part of this defense on the top the floor, so... Uh, it's going to be a lot more difficult for Elvis to hold this uh, by himself now without those Legion traps and the extra gun um, to help him out. And with Hydra Fae on the Ying, it's likely that we're going to be seeing uh, a lot of that utility be wasted or uh, distributed on to Elvis. He actually will get a few shots through the wall from uh, Hydra Fae. It looks so soccer will actually lag out of the map. So uh, that's very unfortunate for him, but... Uh, it is just how it goes. A minute 45 left, and the Candela's gonna start to come through the floor, but it looks as though Elvis will get the down, actually, from, uh, from the mute. So that reset gonna come out, and he'll be back on to 50 HP. And with about a half of the round left remaining, it looks as though we're gonna be seeing the attack come out very quickly here. It looks as though the per quick peek from the mute will actually get missed out by Hydrophase. So a missed opportunity there for the Ying is he had a very easy kill there on to the mute, but that will be the Nitro Soul taken out and Astro will put on a little bit less HP. The wall finally gonna get opened up here as it looks so Elvis going to be going for that late flank through a um, through a study as it will be lethal damage to possibly catch this flank off but he does have somebody playing at the bottom of these main stairs it is the jaeger of lerm who might look to possibly rotate right up them but it looks as though they do have lethal damage on a camera and uh, that'll force him to fall off as kaisia now gonna be alone sleep awakening finds one kill onto blur so an excellent frag there onto the maestro no more cameras for him they'll be locked in position 40 seconds left and the push is gonna have to start coming soon as they're gonna be doing a little bit less a lot a couple extra bits of drone work as we reach the 30 second mark and still the flank coming out from Elvis on the top floor along with Astroworld who actually is going to be going through the main hall. Gonna have to deal with the Thermite who is inside of this main hall here but the pre-fire is not gonna hit from Astroworld and Sleepy Wicked and gonna get that kill as we're waiting for the flank to possibly come out from the vigil of Elvis who will get the kill onto Kaisia from above but now it's just the Jaeger who does get a kill onto Learn but the diffuser is going down. Will it be able to go down? No! Elvis gets the pick from above and now it's just Sleep Awakening and Worm will get that kill onto him. So a crazy round in the last 30 seconds will go the way of certainty as they miraculously get that win on to Big Baller. Wow. Uh, what a crazy match and an excellent one there from Elvis and reflexes. Uh, Elvis especially really uh, able to come up clutch uh, when need be. Uh, wow, what an excellent map. Again, thank you all for joining and uh, tuning in. Um, it will be... It will be certainty that went out this map, so uh, they will be going on to the round of 60 or 16. Uh, so make sure you wait for that as well. Um, but yeah, thank you all for uh, tuning in, and uh, I will be streaming more of the Go For later, so make sure you wait to tune in for that. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you all later.